Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, this weather has been quite something, but we know it won't last forever, so we'll just put up with it for a few days, and next thing we know, we'll be complaining about hot weather. But for right now, it seems like it's almost winter. And you know, the other day we were talking about this at work, and I had never heard this expression before. Somebody said, this is what we call dogwood winter. And I said, well, what is that? And they said, that's when it's still cold and the dogwoods are blooming. So that's very true. The dogwoods are blooming. That's my tree right out there. It's in full bloom. And it's winter. <laughs> so uh, it's very true. The, what we're going to make today is called strawberry pretzel jello. Now, it was real funny because one of my viewers sent me her menu that she's going to be having for Easter Sunday. And this was on it. Well, I looked in every one of my cookbooks and not one of them, and I have a lot, not one of them had this recipe in it. So I thought that was quite interesting. So I don't know how it came about, but I ate it at a, at a church function and got the recipe from there. And so it's just one. You can use it as a side dish, a salad, or you can use it actually as a dessert. So I'll show you later on when uh, we get it wholly made, how you can use it for either one. So the, this kind of, now you have to think a little bit ahead to make this, and it's not difficult, but you do have to um, do it kind of in steps. So it is in the cookbook, it's on page 14. Yep, 14, strawberry pretzel salad. So the first thing it calls for is to, is to have crushed pretzels, two cups of crushed pretzels. Now y'all, <laughs> here again, when I went to get pretzels, evidently that's a hot item anymore, and I knew that I had to have plain pretzels. Don't make a mistake about those mustard pretzels because you'll be in trouble. But anyway, I got these, and, um, and this is a, a 12 ounce bag, and I used a little over half of them. And what I did, I put them in a, a Ziploc bag. You know, this is a neat little thing. I bought this at Walmart. It's kind of like a mallet. And it's heavier than um, your rolling pin, which is usually what I use. But I got this, and I'm going to tell you, this thing is the trick. So I think it was $15, and so not that expensive. And it really crushed up those pretzels good. So I have already set my oven on 350 degrees. Now we're going to put our three-fourths of a stick of butter. Isn't it a shame it didn't ask for a stick of butter? But anyway, we're gonna put that in there. And so, <laughs> I have people to ask me if I have a butter melt to button on my microwave. No, that says add a minute. So I just press that and then I kind of watch it because sometimes that butter will kind of run over the dish. So, as soon as that melts, all right, we're going to pour our two cups of pretzels right here in our dish. And it calls for three tablespoons of sugar. So, that's one, two, three. is hot y'all. Yep. And get me a fork. Stay right there, KK. Okay. I try to think of everything so y'all don't have to wait. Okay. Gonna kind of mix our sugar in with our pretzels. And see how chop see how I crush those pretzels you don't want them totally um, like flour almost. So just little them. chunky pieces. Yeah, just kind of little chunky pieces. Y'all know that's gonna be good. All that butter and these pretzels are called butter snaps. So this is really going to give this a wonderful flavor. So. 
when we get it all together, when it gets done, it'll have kind of that sweet, salty flavor, mm. which will be really, really tasty and makes a nice addition, well, to, to any meal. But since we're thinking about Easter and trying to get things that kind of look pretty, all right, this is a nine by 13 casserole dish. So we're gonna put our pretzels in there. And then we're just gonna kinda press them. Oh, yum. I don't know how many of you uh, watched it, but if you remember, I made a sweet potato dessert and it had this same sort of crust on it. It was the pretzels that were um, chopped up and it kind of had that same thing, that sweet, salty flavor. Okay. I'll cut the oven on so y'all can see what's going on here. All right, I'm gonna put that in the oven. And it says to cook it for seven minutes. So, oh, say. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to get this mixed together and it's going to sit in the refrigerator because it has to partially congeal before we put it on um, the, the layer. And, and you'll see the, the layers as we do them. So, this one is cooking here and getting ready. I have already boiled my water. So we need two cups of boiled water. All right. We'll put that in our bowl. And y'all, it calls for two three ounce boxes. And I use sugar-free Jello. So for those that need to be conscious about your sugar, then that will, that will help a lot. Okay, we're gonna let this dissolve in here real good. And then it calls for, the recipe calls for 10 ounces of strawberries. Well, you know the story. You can't buy 10 ounces of strawberries. So I bought 15 ounces and we go use part of it. And then I'll just save part of it for strawberry shortcake or something. I'll, I'll do something with it, that's for sure. So we're just going to put this in here. We'll be right back. Okay. My pretzel here is ready, so we'll go get that out of the oven. Sit it on the, here and let it start cooling. So we've put our jello, our water, our strawberries, and an eight ounce container of crushed pineapple. And bless goodness, we can not find a an eight ounce container of, of crushed pineapple. Now, this is going to go in the refrigerator. In the recipe, it says, let it cool. But y'all, I'm gonna tell you, you, ne you need to let it partially congeal. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the refrigerator, let it partially congeal, let this really cool good, and so then when we get ready to put all that together, there is a layer of cream cheese and Cool Whip. So I've already got my cream cheese sitting out so it'll be nice and um, soft and, uh, and ready to mix with the Cool Whip. So then when we come back, we'll put all of this together and you'll see it, it's really not that hard. You just have to think ahead on it. So this is going in the fridge and I'll let you know now, I'm gonna time it to see how long it takes for it to stay in there. And so when we come back, we'll put it all together. So we'll be back in a while. 
Okay, y'all, it's been two hours. So, layer one was the pretzel crust. This is going to be layer two, and then the jello is layer three. So, it's all processed now. All right, I've already taken my cream cheese out. This is just eight ounces of cream cheese, and put that in my bowl, and I'm just going to... Mix it, cream it up a little bit to get it easier to mix with that whipped coffee. Okay. And this is eight ounces of whipped topping. Just your eight ounce package. And you can use any brand. Y'all know I like the Walmart brand. But you can use any brand you like. You can use the actual Cool Whip brand or I don't know who else makes it, but I really like, like the Walmart brand. Okay, now we're going to mix this together, and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got this mixed together now. Now, don't just put just one big blob right in the middle, because all this is a little stiff. As you can see, and the pretzels are still a little loose, so you have to be careful not to tear them all up. So the best thing to do is just to put this along, and then it'll be a little bit easier to spread out. And now we'll be right back. I'll get this spread out, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, um, after I started spreading this, I really think that um, to go ahead and use the whole stick of butter <laughs> because I think it'll help stick the pretzels together better. They were kind of um, loose and just kind of... Now, I want to show you the consistency here. See, that's almost congealed. And so that way, when you pour it on there, it's not going to run all down into your crust. Mm -hmm. And it'll make this top layer. Ooh, y'all, this smells so good. Those strawberries. Y'all, this is really delicious. Maybe a little extra trouble, but every once in a while we need to do something that's a little extra trouble. So we'll get this made. Ooh, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, it's all, it's all in there now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some clear wrap over it and I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator. And I'll kind of watch it and I'll let you know about how long it takes it to really congeal. Now you can make this easily the day ahead, two days ahead, really. And um, if you're trying to space your time out so you can have everything ready and not have the, all these last minute things to do. And so I'll put this in. I'll let you know how long it takes and then we will dish it up and let you see what it looks like on the plate. So we'll be back sometime. Okay, y'all, that uh, Jello and, and the concoction <laughs> has been in the refrigerator for about an hour and it congealed very well. And, um, and this made 12 nice sized pieces, as you can see. So if you're going to serve it as, um, as a salad or a side dish, this is just romaine lettuce. I've just cut the leaves and put it on there. And then that way it's easy for people just to lift that up. Then if you want to do it as a dessert, this would be the same, uh, the same thing, but it has the whipped topping. And I just used the ready whip. And then I just took some of the little loose pretzels and sprinkled over the top of it. And y'all, I wanted to show you this. My daughter made that. Now y'all know how I love the coast of South Carolina. And so those shells are actually from the coast. 
probably very near our house. And so it has special meaning. And of course it um, really has special meaning right now because we're thinking about the cross. I hope that every one of you have just a wonderful Easter. We certainly plan to. My family will be together and of course, Ken and his family will be able to be here, and we're rejoicing over that. So we'll all be around the table and ready to eat um, our wonderful Easter buffet. I'll post later on during the week, and I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to put on my Easter buffet. So that, that'll be separate. So I hope that you um, get everything all together, get your menu all planned, and everybody... Here at this house, we'll be celebrating. The tomb is empty, but oh boy, my oven and my table will be full. And that makes me happy. Everybody, shine for Jesus.